let me set this properly hi guys jumbo habari you hope you're doing well welcome and welcome to my channel i'm about to set off um and guys i just want to give an update i did a video the other day and some of you have come to my dm to tell me you have actually experienced what i was talking about and i'm talking about the video where i was telling you to avoid the scammers the people who are asking you to pay so much money so that you can get jobs here in the uk so guys that is the information i want to give you today my name is Sharon Wabaraka and if you are new here you are very welcome if you have not subscribed to my channel please do not forget to subscribe to my channel also do not forget to hit the notification bell so that each time I upload a new video you will not miss out and you will be the first one to be notified it's another beautiful day you guys can see how lovely how beautiful it is it's sunny Yes, and um, I thought, let me just hit two birds with one stone. Let me come and talk to you guys before I set off so that I can share with you this information. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to share a link with you guys to show you the amount of money that you guys need to pay. And just to show you that you actually don't even need to pay all those thousands that I'm hearing you guys are paying to the employer. And you don't even actually need to pay that money to the employer. You only pay that money to the home office. And you only pay that money after you have been offered a job and you're guaranteed that you're going to get that COS. So you pay that money to the home office. There is a link that tells you where you need to pay that link. And that money goes to the government. That money doesn't go to your employer. It is for the home office or for the UK government to process your visa. I'm going to show you again in this video um, here how much money it is that you need to pay. So all of you guys who are coming and telling me that you're being asked to pay so much money, guys, you, you really don't need to. You really don't need to pay all that money. So anyway, guys, let's set off yeah let's um set off let's get going as we talk guys so guys like i was saying you need to be very very careful when you're making the applications for job here in the uk because like i said previously there's a lot of people who are taking advantage of you guys and also the reason why you guys are being taken advantage of excuse me because there's a lot of bumps this road that I am passing so when I'm shaking the camera is only because it's um, quite a few bumps on this road so don't mind if you see the camera shaking but anyway what I was saying is you need to know what job you are applying for you ha need to have skills for that particular job that you yourself are requiring or are applying to come and do and also be knowledgeable in that area don't let people do the application for you. Do the application yourself. Because, by the way, if you did not do the application yourself, so you really need to be careful when you're completing the application. Send it to the right employers. I've given you quite a number of employers that are legit employers that have been approved by the home office and you can make your application using those employers but in today's videos guys i just wanted to show you let me actually insert in here in this video the to show you how much it is that you need to pay and you'll see it for yourself guys and then we'll continue with this video after you have had a look so this is the page that you need to come into again go to gov.uk guys and what you need to search is skilled workers visa or skilled worker visa and then what you need to find is how much it costs so just scroll down to how much it costs like you can see for yourself and it shows you exactly how much money it is that you will need to pay and this money you don't pay to any employer this money you pay to the uk government so there is an illustration there that tells you 
you need to pay 625 but it can also be as high as 1423 and this is depending on each individual circumstance and that fee varies depending on whether you are making an application to come and work for two years or you're making an application to come and work for three years so the longer the duration the more expensive is going to be for you and then there is also the nhs surcharge that you need to pay and that is a mandatory fee that everybody pays and you pay that nhs surcharge fee each year that you are here in the uk working so every year you have to renew your registration for the nhs surcharge and you pay that money and the reason that you pay that money is so that you can get treatment whilst you're here if you end up going to the gp you can get treatment without having to pay any extra cost if you don't pay that then you will have to pay an extra cost and it's going to be more money so it's worth paying i would recommend that you make that payment for the nhs surcharge every year that you're here and it's not just yourself that is paying here that fee is normally paid by people who are already here in the uk so again guys it gives an illustration like you can see for yourself of um, the total amount of money that you pay if you're to make an application for two years or for three years they require you to have 1270 in your account that is not money that they are asking from you that is money that should be in your bank account and that is to evidence that you're able to support yourself when you're here you're not going to depend on other people you're able to support yourself just so that by the time you get your first salary they know that you'll be able to comfortably pay for any accommodation pay for any bill support yourself before you get your own accommodation so again for um three years th there is an illustration there of how much you need to pay so you see guys you don't need to pay all those thousands and thousands of money that i'm hearing guys are paying i don't understand why you're being charged so much money it's just not fair at all and i'm quite upset about it because it's not fair that you guys are being asked to pay all that money yet you're struggling you're having to borrow people or family members that money so that you can pay somebody to give you a job it doesn't sound fair to me and that is the reason why i am on this campaign telling you guys you can do this application yourself without having to pay anybody that money save up that money if you have that kind of money you can invest in other areas in investing like in houses or any sort of investment that is going to bring you good rewards is better than giving that money to somebody who's going to invest and make themselves even richer whilst you you're going to continue suffering it's just not fair guys so yeah this is what i wanted to show you guys so that you can see for yourself so like you have seen guys you can see for yourself how much money or you have seen for yourself how much money it is that you need to pay you don't have to pay all those thousands that i'm hearing you guys are being asked by some people again it's not all the employers it's just some um i'll call them dubious or some scam employers that are asking you people to pay to come and work here in the uk and that is just taking advantage of you and, and it's not good it's not fair i don't agree with it at all so obviously that video explains exactly how much it is that you need to pay it explains if you're making an application as a family if you're making an application as an individual or if you're making an application for two years or for three years how much money is required of you to pay without any extra money apart from what the government of uk is asking you to pay so please don't fall for scammers guys there are people who are quite selfish they only care for themselves they don't care about you or the financial circumstances that you could be going through which are quite difficult and they'll take advantage as much as possible and 
it just saddens me to know how many people have been taken advantage of. There are people who have made it here. They didn't have to pay any single penny to anybody. And like I told you guys, if you follow the step-by-step -step instructions on my video, you'll be able to see exactly how much you need to pay. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap this video here. Hopefully, you've enjoyed my video. Hopefully, it's going to be helpful for you. And hopefully you'll be able to watch my previous videos that I have detailed step by step what you need to do to find the employers and also to get a job here in the UK or to find those employers here. Hopefully you'll find it easy and I wish you nothing but the best. Um, until I come back guys, again my name is Sharon Wabaraka. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do not forget to subscribe and also do not forget to share the video. Hit the notification bell so that each time I upload a new video, you will not miss out and you will be the first one to be notified. Oh, and by the way, don't forget to go check out my other channel i also have another channel that is sharon wabaraka vlogs that's where i post everything to do with lifestyle and travel you can go check it out guys and host your there, please do not forget to subscribe and also share 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 with all of your friends if you like the content and if you also like this content in this channel do not forget to subscribe to this channel you know somebody told me sharon because you don't shout loud enough they don't listen to you so i hope that you're not going to be one of those who are going to fall victims because i'm not shouting loud enough Listen to my small voice. It may be small, but it is loud enough for you to hear, not to be scammed. Anyway, till next time, guys. Baraka. Baraka.